Hello folks, this is Mason Zapot Touch here and today it's going to be the LG NV Touch versus the Blackberry Storm. Well, right now I do not have the Blackberry so I can storm so I cannot um have both visuals, but I can tell you the pros and cons of both. Of them I used to have the Blackberry Storm and then um I got the Samsung alias and that one messed up too. So they both messed up and I ended up getting this one and let me tell you, this is nothing like both of them. Um, so if you had to, ch let me just get this started right away. If you had to choose between um, the BlackBerry Storm and the LG Touch, the LG NV Touch, I won't. I would. My opinion, I would choose. Like I said, the NV Touch. It is the bomb. Um, it works better. I have had no problems. Okay, I've had this for like a week and a half. So I mean, um, sorry. I've had this for a week and a half, and I've had no problems. The first week, I started having problems with the BlackBerry. So, um, that's just right there. Shows you right there. And another the good thing about the um Envy is that um you don't have to you don't have to pay thirty dollars every month just to um have the phone. It is optional. You don't have to necessarily get the internet. This is optional, and it has good internet. It's you know, it has good quality, good you know, everything. And um, that's a good thing about it. A pro about the NV Touch. Now I'm going to tell you a pro about the BlackBerry Storm. Um, that it um has more abilities, a better, f bigger screen, so you can have a better going on the internet. That's why they charge you so much, and that's why you have to get the internet or package for the internet or something. And because it is um, it is good. It has a bigger screen. It has a better detail when you go on the internet. It looks better, uh, bigger icons. You can click on them. It's not as hard. But I mean, same with this Envy Touch. It's not it's not hard as it would be when like on the day or Versa. But um. The BlackBerry, I think it's kind of stupid that what Verizon would make you have to get a package for that. I mean, it was awful. I mean, but for that money, you could save it up and get, I mean, like, you could get a better phone like this. See, the um, BlackBerry Storm, like I said, does have a bigger and uh, better browser, I should say. That's why they it's meant for it. Um, and it is good. I like the um, touch screen on both of them, so you're not missing really anything. But I have to say I like the um, touch screen as far as the screen screen. Not the graphics or anything, just the screen. Like, just the screen, like this part right here. Just this part. Um, <clears throat> I have to say I like the um, Blackberries slab more, though, because that it would be... Yeah, I like that little clicky feeling. I like the clicky feeling. I would be bad. It would be good. I mean, if you if the Envy Touch had that and it was good as this, but they don't. But hey, Envy Touch still got got crap load more uh, features than the oh, I'm sorry than the uh, Storm does. Um, a good, another thing uh, about now we'll switch back to the Envy Touch. Another good thing about the um, Envy Touch is that it does have um a three point two megapixel camera. So does the um Blackberry Storm and it both has a flash so you know you're not really missing anything there either. And um another good thing is that you like I said you have to pay money for the Blackberry Storm. Uh if you have to pay money for the Blackberry Storm <coughs> to just to go just to have it. I mean, you don't have to, and I mean, you get, this is, I think this is the closest Verizon, the phone you can get without being a smartphone. I mean, it's the closest. I mean, you might have sacrificed a few things that the BlackBerry got, and it's, and the Envy Touch don't got, but Envy Touch has got some uh, features that the BlackBerry Storm don't got, so you're so-so right there. Um, as far as I think, they're almost evenly matched, but there only can be one winner, like I said. Um... I've had more problems with the screen, the, the touch on it, the touch on the BlackBerry, than I have on the Envy Touch. On the, so I've, the BlackBerry Storm, like I said, I think pure, purity that they shouldn't make it charge. 
So, I mean, that's just a bad feature. Really bad feature right there. I mean, you shouldn't do that. And I'm in the, um, but in the touch, I mean, the in the touch, um, it is good. I mean, it's full of good features. It's got the, the Blackbird Storm. This, this is one thing that it, it beats. It beats text messaging. If it doesn't beat web browsing, it does beat text messaging. Because you can text four ways on here, and I think you can only text, I can't remember, one or two ways um, on the Blackbird Storm. And you can text four ways on here. You got, um, let me just show you right here, the full QWERTY keyboard. And then you got just a regular touch screen, and you can touch it to virtual and text. So let me just show you. Let me go ahead and show you. And you, uh, text. You can text like this. And this is another thing that the BlackBerry's got. So you can just say, you know, what? Uh, space. Up. Uh, eat up. I already said eat up. Sorry about that. I'm better on the um. Full QWERTY keyboard on the not the virtual. I'm better on the open. If you open it up, I'm better on that. But um, you can text like that. If you turn it like this, you can text it the old-fashioned way, just like click, click, or you can do pin. And you just draw a I don't I don't know what I just did, but you can just draw stuff. I'm not that good on it. And there'd be an a A. I'm not that good. And like I said. You get you open it up, and then there's a full QWERTY keyboard. Um, and for all of that, the screen I like the screen, but it's not as big as the BlackBerry Storm. But um, uh, it is good. The like I said, the uh, NV Touch is good. But the BlackBerry, on the other hand, it does got more. I should say more businesses too. I mean, you can do more if you're a business person. Um, it would be a tie. You could really choose because if you're a business person, you're probably going to use a lot of stuff, and you're probably going to be using need a really a good smart smartphone. It, the BlackBerry, I would think, would be probably a so-so. But if you like Windows and stuff, you would go with a smartphone. But if you um, don't, Envy Touch is right there with any other smartphone. I think it's the closest thing, like I said, that you can get without being a smartphone. Um, the Blackberry Storm was a big hit. So was the Envy Touch, but the Blackberry Storm was had a bigger hit. And another thing about the Envy Touch that I like was it you could get when the first day it came out, it I could still get one. There were about have been thousands of them people in line, but I mean, um, when I got there they still had plenty left. And when they had the Blackberry Storm, they only had like five at like a store. And to me, that was stupid. Completely stupid. Okay? I got, they should have had more phones than that. I don't know how many that you, they had at your location, but at mine, we only had five at each store around the East Coast section, I think. Don't hold me to it, but I think that's what it is. But in the NV Touch, you could get the same amount. What you can get more than the amount of the Blackberry Storm you can get on the day it opens. Um, the Blackberry Storm is a good, good, it's a good phone, but I mean they should not have made you pay it. I keep bringing it up, but I mean they should make you pay for the extra. I mean it's so much like they keep wanting to drag you down in the money. And they touch you pay it one, you know, pay your full payment, you know, you can have it free. And the Envy Touch. Like I said, you can text four ways, and um, it looks like a smartphone. If I, right here, and if I lift the thing up, don't it look like a smartphone? Yes, it does. But it's actually not. So, that's what it is. So, if it was a, so let's say it's the verses, and I'm going to tell you the winner. The winner is going to have to be NV Touch, the LG NV Touch. Blackberry was a close runner up, but it just can't do it because. I think it's stupid. They shouldn't make you pay for it. The extra thirty dollars or whatever, plus whatever else you want, just to have the phone. 
I think that should be free. This one is free. You don't, I mean, you don't have to make any payments unless you're a monthly bill. So, thanks for watching. This is Mason's iPod Touch. Please rate, subscribe, comment. I'll be having another video, other videos about this. So, thanks for watching.